Hey friends, your words have so much power in marriage, and so Ashley and I have put together a fun little video for you with 10 of the very best compliments you can give your spouse. Now over on our XO Marriage YouTube channel, we did a similar video, but it's the top 10 compliments that aren't really compliments. Click right here above my beautiful wife's face, and you can watch it, but also subscribe to this YouTube channel. We want to give you guys some ways to build up your spouse today because sometimes you want to be encouraging and maybe you just don't know what to say. And so here just, here's 10 things we love to hear and I bet your spouse loves to hear too. Yes. And so give these a try. Number one, and I I love this, you are the best thing that's ever happened to me. And you are, you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. You're and the, our, our kids are right the up there, best. too. I know people are like, what about your chil- children? Yeah, you know, we don't forget the kids, guys. Top 10. They're they top, are, too. We're know, talking about marriage top here, Top 20. But you're, <laughs> no, oh, whatever. No, they're great. They're great. We love them to death. You're the best thing. You know, that's a great, great thing. Two is, is just to let them know, hey, I still have the hots for you. Like, mm-hmm. you were so beautiful, or you were so handsome, or yes. you were so fine. Looking good. I still got it for you. Number three, you are such a hard worker. I know a lot of times when we hear the word compliment, we think physical, but really I think the compliments that stick even more and mean even more to us are non-physical. Recognizing hard work is so, it's so important in marriage. Yeah. To add on the two potentially most powerful words in marriage that don't get said nearly enough. Thank you. Thank you. Or I appreciate you. Thank you for all your hard work. Thank you for what you do. And we found so many couples don't do this. Thank each other. Appreciate each other. Those words mean so much guys. So, so very much. Number four, you are hilarious. Yes. Like, I love it. You just make me laugh. I love your jokes. I love your stories. I always have told Dave, I, th- I feel like he's made me funnier because he'll sometimes stop me and say, that was really funny, sweetie. Yeah, like, you get me all the time. Know? I'm like, and I'm like, good. I'm only funnier gold. because of you, because it's true. I, I feel like you've gotten me, like over the years, you just taught me how to find the humor in things. And so anyway, I, I love to hear that. And well, I tell you that all the time because you make me laugh every day. So. Stop it. It's great. Cut All right. It out. Number <laughs> number five, you are such an amazing mother or father. Oh, you know, yeah. if you're parents, you want to hear this mm-hmm. because especially on a hard day when you feel like you've blown it, it's really good to hear that. Especially when I was a stay at home mom and you come home from work and I'm feeling like it's just been a rough day or I lost my temper and he would look me in the eyes and say, you know, you're just such a great mom. You are. And I, I tell you, you're such a great dad because you are. And we just love hearing that. Oh, uh, what is next? My we, LASIK is wearing off. Oh, okay. You love this one. You are so sexy slash hot. We kind of alluded to this, but just mm. in a romantic moment, letting them know that they are hot, that, that you got it for them, that's huge. Yep. Oh, yeah. And I do. You mm. are sexy, hot. I'm a looking and I'm a liking. I'm a looking and I'm a liking. <laughs> you always amaze me of how you do what you do. When we got married, we almost danced to this song. I don't know if you remember this, but there was a very popular country song that went pop and it was called, Baby, Baby I'm Amazed by You. I love <laughs> that song and it made me think of that so all right number eight you are so thoughtful i think it's really important to recognize when your spouse has been thoughtful and has done something where you can see that they put some thought into it i know for us you know day bringing home stargazer lilies to me shows that he thought about me that day because i'm a huge flower person i know some of you watching are like well they're just gonna die i don't care if they're gonna die i love them for the hey, you know we're five gonna die days too. we them. still want to like be our exactly best, so. but i mean maybe Maybe it's not flowers for you, but just showing an act of thoughtfulness and then recognizing it is huge. So, so true. And thoughtfulness, by the way, guys, is just, it's a, it's another word for romance. Mm-hmm. I think sometimes we we overcomplicate what romance is and we mm-hmm. think, well, I don't know how to be romantic. I can't speak French poetry or whatever. And it's not that. Romance is really just another word for thoughtfulness. It's it's doing those little things that let your spouse know you're on my mind. Right. And I want to surprise you and please you and learn more things about you. And mm-hmm. um, that's romantic. And so look for ways to do that. And then compliment your spouse when they do those things. Like Ashley said, yes, you're so yes, thoughtful. Yes. Number nine, I just love being with you. Mm-hmm. And you say this with your words and you also say this with your time. Yeah. That I love being with you. And you say it with your attention. It's so huge. And I feel like the longer you're married, the more we need to hear this. Yeah. You don't want to feel like old news. You don't want to feel like you're boring and don't be boring. I mean, I, I hate to say that, but just don't, don't, don't be the old news. Don't be boring. Like keep on pursuing each other. Keep on going after each other. But even on your worst day, when you've got like nasty breath and spit up on your shoulder from kids, you're sweaty, you just worked out to know that you want to still be together and you love each other. I mean, it's yeah. huge. All right. Number 10. What is it? You're my favorite. It's, I love this. You're my favorite. You're my favorite. I could spend my time with anyone, but you're my favorite person you're my, and my, my favorite, favorite person to be with. So She's giving me those eyes like she wants to make out. She's coming in for it. Oh my gosh. So. Uh, too much. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Do us a favor and subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't already, so you can be the first to know when a new video drops. And uh, also check us out on the Naked Marriage Podcast. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.